Hey guys, um, YouTube deleted my most popular video. It's just gone, 750,000 views. I'm fine guys. It's, we're cool, we're cool. So the original video is Let's Examine Lele Pond's content. I changed it just a little bit, but it's still pretty much the same video. It'll play right after this. There's a new intro, new outro to it. I felt weird just re-uploading it and not making anything new because if you already saw it then you're not getting anything out of this. Not that you get anything out of my videos other than disappointment usually. One quick thing I wanted to mention, I've said it on the channel before, in mid-July Gus Johnson and I are moving to Los Angeles. One thing about uh, moving across the country is that you can't bring anything big like furniture you might already own or anything big and expensive <laughs> and again we're fine but if you want to support me and buy some merch the link is in the bio if you're that generous you'll also get you know clothing out of it that i think looks pretty nice i didn't wear it here because i'm dumb and i don't plan things out so here are some pictures um i don't know if they're pictures of merch because i just said here are some pictures one of them look at this one is that merch i don't know you want to dm me like a screenshot of you buying it if you're that generous, uh, where you want to support me like that, obviously we're going to have a chat. We're going to talk, like Instagram or Twitter. All right, so let's get to the video. What I like to do on this channel sometimes is to give someone's content a chance. And the last time I did it, it worked out really well. We gave Jake, Jake Paul a, a chance. Fuck. Uh, well, did we give anyone else a chance? Let's watch some Lele Pons content. Aren't you excited? Get excited. Come on. Get excited. I've been away from the desk for a while, all right? Maybe I'm getting a little rusty, but I'm just trying to pump you up before we see Lily Pons' stuff. And I know Lily Pons isn't the best creator, but it's all we got right now. This video is sponsored, as in it has an ad read at the end of it. I told you because that's the honest and right thing to do when you have sponsored content. So the thing about Lele's content in the three videos that I watched is, um, Lele doesn't seem to make stuff and get sponsored so she can keep making stuff. It seems like sponsors will contact her and say, Hey, Lele, we've seen that you've made a video centering on another company before. Can you do that for us? And she goes, absolutely. But here's the problem, kiddos. Here's the problem, guys. Here's the problem, my dudes. The problem is that Lele's audience is very young. And when you're not clear about sponsorships to young kids, then things get a little a little tricky. If you're trying to deceive children into liking certain brands, that's one of the scummiest things you can do in entertainment. The first video that we're gonna watch is currently on the trending page. It's number five right now. It was eight last night and it was number four earlier. It's a video by Lele called Halloween Costume Contest and I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's just get right into it. Halloween is probably a really fun time for you, right? Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. You asked me a question, and then said, yeah, I know, before I could answer it. Give me some time, Lele. Yeah, Halloween's great. I love to get spooky. Since you were little, your parents used to take you out, you know, trick-or-treating, you know, eating all the candy you want, going out on a school night. Wrong! Halloween is not all fun and games. It's a competition. Did you hear that? I'm sorry to interrupt so quickly again, but uh, if there's any excuse that Lele doesn't aim her content at kids, notice to how she's talking about Halloween. She said it's a fun time, and she's talking about trick-or-treating, going out on a school night, no mention of partying or anything like that. No, So that we're not talking about adult Halloween here. So she's directly talking to young kids on her bed. That's her intention. There, uh, There's no significance to the bed. That was just, it's just where she is. In my school, there's a thing called Halloween costume party, and if you didn't win, you would sit alone at lunch. Hold on, what the fuck? Lele, you're 21 years old. We were born in the same year. You're not in school anymore. You can't talk about it like you're still in school. I know that because it's been five years I've been sitting alone at lunch. I know that because it's been five years I've been sitting alone at lunch. Okay, I'm not here to make fun of accents. I genuinely don't know what she said there. I think what Lele said is that she's been sitting alone for five years at lunch. Lele, you're 21. You don't go to school anymore. I know you're not talking about college because you, you don't go to a costume contest, lose, and then eat alone at lunch in college. And if you do, 
that's that's your choice. I, just weird to me. Why would you do that? Why would you talk about school like you're still in it when you've been out of it for years? Here's a look at all the costumes I've been wearing. So not only did my costumes suck, but I sucked at the games. But this year I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Katie Cap collection. This year I'm gonna win the Halloween costume party. Oh fuck, sponsor alert. Sponsor alert! I, you, I know you're sitting there, you're 16 to 24 years old, and you're going, Eddie, obviously, this is sponsored content. She doesn't need to be clear about it. Yes, but think about a seven or eight year old girl who watches Lele. They don't know the nuances of sponsorships in videos. They don't even fucking know how to spell correctly yet. And I don't even know how to do that now, and I'm almost 21. So, d don't assume everyone's smart. Because, me, not, I'm not, me not smart, smart, fucking Christ, me not smart? Tonight, it's gonna be my night. Let's see what happens. I don't like that face. I'm sorry, I just don't like her comedy at all. I don't want to focus mainly on that, but... She's like, okay, I'm gonna put the makeup on, and I'm gonna just walk to the bed and pour it out. And somebody behind the camera went, Lele, that's not funny enough. Is this, can we do, should I, should I, should I bring it like, should I bring in the makeup like this? Would that be funny? Yeah, and Lele, if you could fall down. I'm not falling down anymore. Everyone on the internet is making fun of me. All right, we have more videos to watch, so I'm not going to waste too much time on what happens during this video. Basically, Lily's just at a weird party with a bunch of adults at a house. So it's a house party, but uh, they're treating it like, they're 25, but also 10 at the same time. They're all playing weird, childish games. It's not even a party, it's a weird costume contest that's the sole purpose of the party. All these Instagram, let me go on a small rant really quick. All the shitty popular Vine stars that also uh, moved over to Instagram, they make these sketches that are fucking surreal. The worlds that these people exist in don't make any sense at all. It's where people are constantly cheating on each other, uh, but everything's also PG as well, but really sexual. And social interactions don't make any sense. Someone will walk up and go, I want to date that guy. All of you help me. If I had a friend that constantly would look at girls and go, I want to date her. What do I do? What do I do? She's a stranger, you fucking psycho. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> so by the end of this video, uh, a guy that's dressed as a doctor, it's revealed, ha ha, he's, it's not a costume. He's a, he's a real doctor. So that's, so that's funny. Uh, and then Lele, Lele wins. And here's what happens. Oh, you oh, All right, the new winner, Lele wins now, huh? Yeah. If somebody wins a contest, even if you don't like them, the adult thing to do is not to go, nah, and then walk away. Cause then you're at the party with that person for the rest of the time. That's really awkward. I don't understand. What? No love, man. What you want? I suck! I'm so glad that Lele used the cover girl makeup to win her Halloween contest. She made this whole video for the purpose, the sole purpose to advertise this makeup. She created the entire video around it. If you're gonna trick kids into wanting to buy makeup, Sell the goddamn makeup. If you buy CoverGirl, you will be able to enter a costume contest and a guy who's dressed as a doctor will that's beating you will also turn out to be a real doctor and he'll leave and you'll get disqualified and CoverGirl does that for you. So buy CoverGirl. In this next video that's called Neighborhood Crush, uh, Lele tries to get a guy and I wonder if you can spot the ad eventually. Well, we'll see. We'll go we'll start going through the video and I want to see if you guys can guess the ad. Uh and if you do, you get a million dollars. Hard I promise that. I can't I can't afford I can't afford to do that. What the fuck? The only hot thing in Lela's life is her lipstick. Uh-huh. <laughs> New neighbors. Wait, 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 wait. I see. I see a hot guy! Wait, what? Yeah, a hot guy. Okay, guys, I have to date that guy. Yeah, but you've been single for so long. It's you, Lele. You're terrible at dating. Yeah, it's not happening. Okay, um... 
who, what friends would say that to each other? But also, this is a stranger that Lele wants to hit on, so I would probably say the same thing. Hey, that guy's just moving in. It's his first day. I'd say now is inappropriate. That's not true. Mm. I'm great at flirting. Um... The flirting scenarios that, that she's a part of are ridiculous. And they're not even rejections. Hey, wanna go for a swim? I'm good. This first one, this guy is just cleaning a grill. And she walks up and says, Hey, wanna go for a swim? Uh, no, he's busy. He's cleaning a grill. And also, why are you in his backyard? Do you two know each other? I don't understand the situation. But the next one is my favorite. Hey, I like books. Wanna read one with me? No, I'm good. Oh my god. So this guy just standing there reading a book and Lele walks up and says, Hey, I like books. Wanna read one with me? To a stranger who's reading on this. What the fuck? This is what I'm talking about. What world would any of those things happen? Wait, in what scenario? Do you regularly read books with other people? Are you both gonna read the page? At the same time, is someone reading out loud? Is it a popcorn reading scenario? I don't know. I have so many questions. I have so many questions about the reality that Lele lives in. And I just, that can't get answered. But all I know is I need to buy CoverGirl. That's for sure. Hey. Hey. Let's play a game. Uh, no, no, I'm good. No, I'm fine. I don't know you. You just walked up and said, let's play a game. I'm good. Thanks. Football? I'm good, thank you. Lele's brain went, he said he does he's he doesn't want to play a game. So I should specify the game. Foot football? <laughs> and he's like, fuck no. I said no. What is wrong with you? I said I don't want to play a game. And you just pointed to a football and said football. Hey, I know you want to play with me. No no no, don't ready to go long. Don't throw the ball, please. Oh I'm I'm gonna throw the ball. Please, God, don't throw the ball. I've told you so many times to please get away. I don't, I'm not interested. And she throws it anyway. So Lele fails. I, tell me if you can spot the sly advertisement in this video. You know what? I got this. Girl, come on. Okay, you know I love our friends. You know I do, but they don't know what they're talking about. This is going to be our secret weapon. Cover Girl Total Tease Mascara. I'm going to give you a makeover you will not forget. This mascara is going to give you full, long, sexy, teased, and refined eyelashes. Oh my God, what? And my favorite part about this mascara comb is the long and short edges. It gets even to the smallest of corners to give you long, full lashes. And voila. They didn't say this is sponsored by CoverGirl. They just in the middle of the video started doing a re- like, that British woman might as well be in a living room selling it to me. A child might not know. They might just think that the friend is real crazy about CoverGirl. She doesn't specify it before the video and then structures the entire video around an ad and a shitty one at that. And then this time, this time she, uh, the, the makeup does make her go on the date. After she harassed that dude, he's just like, let's go on a date. And then she does it and the video just cuts off and ends right there. The last Lele video we'll look at is very brief. I just wanted to mention it. In the small amount of videos I've seen by her, this is the only time that she clearly says that the video is sponsored in the actual video. It's called Hunger Showdown. And in the beginning of the video, Lele says this. Thank you so much Snickers for sponsoring this video. Okay, she specified. So Snickers has sponsored her content, so she, now she can make it. She can make whatever she wants. As a kid, I would think, oh, Snickers sponsored it so she could afford to make this thing she wants to make. Let's see the thing that she wants to make. Looking for this. It's mine, he said I could have it. Well, I'm hungry and I deserve a treat. Something shape it up. Oh, and it's just a video where she fights someone she boxes with a girl because they both want a snickers bar it's just a fucking commercial you'll probably notice a trend with my commentary videos i talk about advertising a lot when it has to do with these uh kid entertainers we have to do better in criticizing 
people who make content for children on YouTube and Instagram and Snapchat. Because right now, it's the internet, it's the Wild West. We have no idea what kind of effects it's gonna have on kids. So when I see these people making ads that are disguised as YouTube videos, just like the regular YouTube videos that those kids watch all the time, they might not have any idea that they're being shown an advertisement. And that's fucked up. So we just gotta get better at recognizing that. Okay guys, we got to the end of the video. Uh, I wanted to also share that this is the last time we will ever see this set in a video. Can we cue like some Mr. Rogers m music and then- Well guys, we reached the end of our time here. And it's time to say goodbye to this to this set. Is that it's like my head just cut off. Let's just let's take fuck. Let's not stop. Let's take a look at some of the great things this basement had to offer. What up guys? It, it's me. Lo Logan Paul. Dab dab on the haters. What am I what am I doing? Hello, Matthew. It's me again with another hot Cheeto review. You don't respond, so I'll just keep sending them. Uh, here we go. Mm, oh. oh, it's hot. No, it, it tastes good, but it's a little hot for me. You need to get out of here. Live your the rest of your life. You're going to die soon. Grandma, you're going to die. Go do something. By the way, I got you a new TV. No, why would I want to sip after that? Why not? I've never seen more of somebody's lips drink a beer in my life. I need to turn this fan on. Better better start hacking. Better start, we're gonna start hacking. Oh, there's a firewall. Oh, I'm hacking into the mainframe. Oh, the firewall. I'll tell you what, Eddie, I'll help you out. I've got something that'll help you. Okay, Eddie, unplug it. Can, oh, Seriously, Jesus. it's burning, I'm not even kidding. Boy. Did we have fun here? But it's time to move on to to, to a new set. So let's take this one down, and then we'll cut it there because I don't want to actually take the set down now. Uh, I'm too lazy to do it, and there's really just no. Can you see the reflection of stuff in the posters? Can you see the reflection of the light? And the camera? You can see the reflection of the camera and the poster? Every movement I make! Every fucking movement! The treadmill, too? It's been a year and a half! Why did none of you tell me that? That looks like shit! What the fuck? Can I go back and change the old videos? Siri, call Gus Johnson! Thank you, Helen, Business Vulture, Bernard, Nami, Damien, Gabriel, Carrie, Megan, Amber, Warren, Aurora, Kimberly, Zebra Corner, Errol, Kaylin, Two Trains, Dominic, Alyssa, Noah, Reese, Emily, Jake, Amanda, Ashley, Dave and Janet Smith. Thank you guys. My mic works now, I guess. What the fuck?